Hi. May Hi. I sit down? Yes, of course. Fredrik. Yes. How can consultants work smarter? By using our minds to think uh, in creative ways and using the technology for what's worth and what's really valuable to connect us, to interconnect us. But how does consultants work and what's the problem with the ways of working? Today uh, we have a lot of manual steps uh, when we think about uh, how we offer our, our services. Uh, how we how we work out there in the customers, uh, how we uh, exchange ideas and uh, being innovative uh, together. Oscar Berry talked about the digital workplace earlier. Yeah. Do we have a digital workplace as a consultant? Is that your opinion? Uh, I think we have an embryo. Uh, I think we have, with the, for example, Office 365 platform, uh, we have a good platform to start from. Uh, we are uh, creating uh, artifacts, creating communication within one platform uh, where we can actually um, index our data trail uh, and have uh, machines to analyze that data trail and exchange uh, knowledge. Uh, due to that, we don't have to rely anymore on that people needs to talk to people in order to exchange um, ideas and knowledge. Um, but uh, of course, there are a lot of things to do, and what uh, what Oscar is talking about is is actually um, an environment where consultants can actually uh, just go as a Formula One car uh, to to. Uh, identify problems, uh, suggest solutions, experiment, learn rapidly, uh, and create value continuously. Um, and we're not, we're not quite there yet, but, but we're working on it. When I go to Amazon, as a lot of other people do, yeah. I got the suggestion, this is what other that bought this thing has also looked at on board. Yeah. Do we have that in the companies? If I read an article, what other articles should I read? What other information should I get? Yeah, that's, that's uh, the concept of, of uh, what we're talking in business about, uh, people analytics. To uh, try to understand what our people is, is interested in, are focusing on, and then try to feed back this, this uh, knowledge to, to our people. Uh, these are the, the, the most common read blogs articles within your organization. You need to, you need to read this as well in order to, to uh, have the same uh, starting point for, for discussions. Um, you're all interested in, in this new technology. We have a, a concept idea, we have a proof of concept that you can play with here uh, because we, we understand that you are interested in this new technology. So we have put up a, a lab environment for you uh, to stay ahead, to, to always push the, that we must learn the un, the, the, the uh, uh, the unknown, to get into the unknown and, and learn more about it and never stagnate, never stay still. So uh, information overload has been a classic thing within companies for yes. a long, long time. Yes. When I'm on Facebook, there is a lot of posts, but yes. I only see that what Facebook is thinking relevant for me. Mm. Are yes. there any tools like that? Uh, and no, uh, there are not yet, but I think that is where a, an organization can actually help. Because within an organization, within a large consultancy group, for example, um, you can say that we are interested in, in becoming the world leader in this area. So we will have to focus our efforts in that direction, but we don't know how to get there. Um, so actually, Within, um, I mean, Facebook has their uh, sort of um, driving force. Uh, but if you if you use these mechanisms, the same as Facebook does, has uh, or or work with. But if you use those mechanisms for another purpose, that becoming world leader in cloud technology, 
you can actually uh, enhance that travel uh, with this new technology. But of course, um, if you have, if you are a a standalone consultant, you will have to rely on the global world economy to know what is best. Or yeah. so, you, so you will be feeling more alone, and you will have to um, trust other platforms that are perhaps not built or does not have that aim or purpose in line with your purpose mm. because you want to be a world leader of uh, cloud technology but you don't know which platform you should use in order to become that perhaps it's linkedin perhaps it's snack perhaps it's other kind of public platforms mm -hmm. but you don't know so you need to be able to then you need to be able to to have a good feeling of every one of these platforms uh, and that will be a tedious job as you, of now you need to have enough knowledge to do selections yes and that's yes. what we do for our clients today. Yes, we filter out. Uh, this will work for you, this will not work for you due to the fact that. Um, and this is not the right step for you at the moment. You need to st do this first. And, and this kind of actually advising uh, role uh, as a consultant, that is, that is crucial to be able to uh, have data, have insights uh, in order to provide good value, uh, valuable advices to our clients uh, and have uh, data to back those statements up. A few days I got a request on a forum for information, have we done this before? Has it happened to you that you got the same question? Yes, many times. Everyone is, is uh, asking, uh, have you done this before? Has anyone else done this before? Uh, and it comes from a, I think, from a inner feeling of uh, fear of mistakes. Uh, because if someone else has tried it, I can perhaps think about trying it myself. Um, but in order to stay competitive in the global setting, in the global markets right now, people need to or organizations need to try out stuff that no one else has tried uh, in order to, to be in the front, yeah. I think. So um, I understand where this question comes from um, and the answer is most often yes, we have tried everything you ask us to try uh, or have been doing in other clients. Uh, it's just that sometimes it's difficult to find that reference. Mm -hmm. So if you ask a question on a forum or search and you don't find, the idea, find that someone has done it, it's either a really good idea or a really lousy one. It's almost every time a good idea mm. because in the end you will learn something new, mm. something valuable that no one else knows. Mm. If you try something out that no one else has tried before, you will sit on gold because you have knowledge, you have insight in something that no one else has. And you can improve. Yes, and you it's can It's about improve. failing fast. Failing fast, yes. Yeah. And, and learn fast. Learn. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, you see uh, the role of a consultant in the future more as an advisor than to be a manual labor for hire. Yes, uh, of course. I think and you know, I know that, that um, in order to stay um, relevant for our clients, we need to be able to uh, be in an advisory role um, and in order to, for our clients to focus on what they should do best. They need to know their business uh, and they need to have us as advisors, uh, not as doing the job for them, uh, because they need to do what they do best. And of course, there are some views on consultants as uh, someone that can actually do manual labor. But I think and I know that those kind of um, tasks will be, have to be automated away. Uh, because if it's not in the area of innovation, if it's not in the area of um, uh, being creative, um, then it will, never work. it will never work or will not provide the value that 
is uh, good from a return of investment. Mm. And then not, it's not valuable for the client, so they will not pay much money for it either. No. no. If we look at the benefits that the clients to the consultancy companies can get, what are the benefits that they don't get with the ways of working we have? Mostly more manual work that has been a little bit adopted to work with the PC. Mm. Um, they, uh, of course, the clients today get what they ask for. Uh, if they want and ask for a, a, uh, a consultant that is um, actually an advisor, then they should embrace that. They should ask the advisor uh, questions that are relevant to them in their business. Um, but of course that advisor has connections out there in the world. Use that. Use that for, for, for knowledge, for insights. How do other organizations work? How, what kind of problems does other organizations see depending on this technology? Uh, how can we um, be in, in, uh, take that for, as an advantage for us to, to avoid those traps that, that other people has, has gone into? When I look into my email box, I have a spam filter that takes away the things that are not interesting for me. Most of it, it works rather well. Why couldn't I have a favorite that says what is good? It works for, for things that are clearly irrelevant, uh, that machines can help us uh, doing that. But sometimes, and most often, uh, I find inspiration that can sort out my problems from things that is, uh, might consider, be considered irrelevant. Uh, so we don't know what is irrelevant or relevant, uh, actually. Uh, so and that is why, why things like cognitive bias is, is uh, uh, important to consider. That is when we have made up our mind that this is the way forward and we're not interested in actually uh, seeing or identifying anything that can th threat my view of what is the way forward. Mm -hmm. uh, so constantly being open for new ideas uh, and sometimes those ideas come from uh, from angles where we that we earlier considered to be irrelevant. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it's, it's dangerous to, to think that we can just uh, install sp How good are we as consultants to using new technology? Um, I think we can improve there, uh, of course. Um, uh, for example, let's, let's say if, if uh, one of our colleagues is out there uh, seeing uh, a good presentation uh, on new technology, he takes a picture uh, with his cell phone. Um, that information should be indexed by our uh, analytics uh, robots um, and matched together with perhaps another client is interested in the, this new technology because they, they, they glimpse at it uh, in LinkedIn. Uh, mapping those two leads together and send that information to a, a salesperson that can actually uh, think of how we can help that client with this, within this context because we have this new information, this new technique. Um, so index pictures, index speech uh, in order to, to create text or data that we can index and, and compare. Uh, that is something that we could be better at and, and will have to be better in, in order to stay competitive in the future. So is uh, this more of a mindset issue or a technological issue? Uh, right now it's very much about mindset issue, I think. Uh, but of course it's a it's, uh, different kind of... Uh, um, different kind of aspects that, that come into play here uh, because uh, sometimes people are not uh, people are not aware that the tools exist uh, or people are afraid of, of uh, uh, getting their job uh, redundant 
uh, sometimes organization have the tools and use it but in the wrong way so it doesn't lead to a positive effect and then the tools get get bad credit f for that so so um, I think uh, it depends the, the standard question the standard answer to that question it depends it depends on the context of, of um, uh, where your organization is and where your tool sets are mm -hmm. so uh, the motivation for me when I'm at a conference to take a picture and tag it on my mobile phone yes. send it up to our shared pool of resources in the cloud what's the motivation for me because uh, in the end what you actually share uh, you will get back uh, other comparable uh, ideas or other concepts that that might uh, help you in actually understanding what you just saw um, you can get in contact with people that can actually explain it or you can have uh, we are often talking about that all the consultants need to be a sales representative actually by just um, seeing that kind of presentation taking the picture and upload it uh, shows for people that you are interested in new technology and you have an opportunity to help a client with this new technology in order to stay competitive as a consultant. Mm -hmm. So you have everything to, to, to gain by sharing. You have everything to gain because you can actually learn more stuff, you can have more fun, you can uh, help more clients because everyone wants to be valuable to our clients everyone wants to help people and we can do it within our profession that's why people want to be consultants they want to help clients do magnificent stuff um, so in order to um, the incitement for actually taking that picture is I want to work with this new technology does anyone have a client that, that perhaps is interested in me helping them do this cool stuff? I don't need to actually find the people that, can, um, that needs to have that client in their pocket and saying, okay, I have a client that actually has this, this information. We can use robots to, to analyze data and seeing that, okay, you have three um, major organizations that are interested in this new techni technique globally uh, one is in Singapore one is in, in one is in uh, India and one is in in, uh, uh, in Germany okay the closest one is Germany what, who, who is the sales representative for that company I call him uh, and say I, I have an, a splendid idea how to help that client uh, how can we create magic together with the client um, and I think that is something that will happen soon that people will actually will go hunt and help people wh wherever they sit and work wherever the clients are in the in the in the world uh, we have a global possibility to help our clients just because we have unique competences everyone it's just match matchmaking um, what about uh, the more business side of technology and new ways of working. A mm. lot of consultants, they are hired per hour. If you increase your, your productivity, you will get less paid. Yes. I think the incitement model will change uh, in the future, uh, also there, because um, the clients will slowly understand that their they will get more value out if we measure on other things. If we measure, if, if we find, uh, I want you to improve this metric. I want you as a consultant to improve that metric, to make a uh, customer more happy, or the, uh, the, the purchase, the amount, purchase amount, each transaction go faster. Uh, we both will measure on that and you will do stuff in order to try to improve that. Sometimes you will fail, but sometimes you will succeed. And most likely you will succeed more than you fail. But uh, if we design our contracts on that, we find metrics that we want to improve, can you help me with that? Um, then you will have another model 
to, to actually both, that you will both benefit from. Mm. Um, and uh, I think this, this, will, this will happen soon, that because it's an old model of, of uh, if, you, uh, if you stay on the premises of the client, you will get paid. Um, that is no, one, no, one's, no one's gain, uh, because in the end the effect of that is, is devastating. Uh, both for, for the consultant and the, the, the client. Uh, you keep the old stuff that is irrelevant. Yeah, and it comes, it comes naturally from, from the industrialization view, the Taylorism uh, view of that people are machines and they should, uh, they should service the, the machine, the machinery. Um, they should put oil in, in, in the engines and, and uh, treat the, the machines. But, uh, People are not machines. People are people. Uh, Spotify is often uh, s cited as a very good example of agile programming. Do you have any good example of how to work smarter as a consultant? Are there any one somewhere on the globe that works smarter than the average, much smarter? Uh, no, I don't know uh, anyone uh, right now, so uh, I think it's, it's an open game and uh, everyone should uh, focus on this journey because the, the transformation will, will happen fast. Yeah. So if you have any ideas how to work smarter, please contact Frederick. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah.